So here we're connected to a 2011 Mini Countryman using the Mini Connected application on the iPhone, connected to the vehicle. Now that we're connected, I lock the phone screen and put it away. And now through the user interface and through the car's HMI, when I go to the Mini, Mini Connected menu from the top level here, we basically have a list of applications that are actually running on the device using the Mini Connected technology. So I can do things like get uh, news feeds, uh, RSS feeds basically that I had set up for various uh, information, um, connect, can connect to the Twitter account, can do run a Google search, um, can do a send to, send to car, so basically a POI that you had sent when you were disconnected right. from the car, yep. um, have it automatically connect and um, can transfer over to the navigation system. We have a fun feature called Minimalism Analyzer, which is basically a dynamic analysis of your driving pattern, giving you feedback on how to drive more uh, efficiently and web radio, which has access to thousands of streaming radio stations all across the world and uh, can listen to right in your car using the phone's uh, wireless connection. And so by utilizing this Mini Connect technology, we can do things like access our Twitter account while we're in the, while we're in the car. And within Twitter, we can, for instance, post a tweet. But we don't want to, you know, have the driver obviously typing out a tweet. It's right. the first thing people ask, you know, oh, why would you, you know, that's so distracting. And, and you know, yeah, definitely we don't want to, we're not going to be typing letter by letter, you know, I am in the car uh, and I am going here. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is a really interesting combination of pre-populated tweets, so pre-populated messages. So I have a short list of messages here. And so I'm only going to be able to choose from one of these three. But the tweets utilize the real-time data from the car, so it's actually relevant and fresh data. So the car knows that it's 73 degrees outside and the car is also a mini yeah. and so by sending information from the car to the to the application running on the device the the application can then take a pre-populated message which is basically it's X degrees outside and I'm driving around in my car and can turn it into a very relevant message um, I can also if I'm if I'm playing certain music, it can get you know the name of the, the artist that I'm currently listening to, or you know it knows that it's warm outside and it knows my current location, yep. so it can do some interesting um, things. And if I had a convertible, for instance, it knows my tops down, so I can you know send out a tweet saying that I'm driving around on, you know on Highway One with my with my top down. Okay. And so we can also, uh, for instance, you know get some RSS feeds. Again, this is actually connected over edge uh, yep. inside the building, but That's it fine. actually is That's pretty fast. Yeah, it was pretty fast as it was. So we can get some RSS feeds, you know, get, get, get some headlines of some news. While we're driving, we would just get the headline. While we're parked here and with the parking brake on, you know, we can we can actually view the whole the whole. And you can read it content. out using text to speech. Too. Exactly, and with within the. Um, within the application when when we're driving because again the car knows when we're driving the application can then you know limit the content so once you if we were able to drive here you would see that actually I would not be able to go beyond the first page right so we're really doing a combination of interesting relevant data and content to the, to you while you're in the car but customizing for you know while driving minimizing distracting mi minimizing distraction and allowing the driver to really concentrate on the road can you show me the google search sure so another service that we offer here is doing a Google search. So this is an interesting way of searching for a point of interest using Google's you know, database on the back end. So not, not limited to necessarily what's stored locally. So what I can do is I can search for, I don't know, let's look for pizza, I guess. And now this will basically go in the background. Uh, the phone is sending out uh, a request to Google servers and we get, we get information about pizza around here and it knows our current location so it'll be relevant so I can for instance choose one here's an address I can send it over to I can start, start the guidance, guidance navigation if I'm connected over Bluetooth I can call them and so with just a few clicks of the button I can get this really relevant information while, while really still focusing on the road show me the web radio real quick sure. and, and how that's different from the Pandora integration sure so web radio is and the application you see here are part of our mini connected application so you download the mini connected application from the uh, iTunes store and you get access to these to these applications one of which is web radio and web radio creates a really a really great in-car listening experience for thousands of streaming radio stations all across the world so these are really streaming stations that you know come from um, uh, a content listing yep. of services across or stations across the world that, that basically offer their their radio station online so you can you can search by location I can search for anywhere in the world search for Hamburg sure so I could I could I could either I can go you know by Europe and then I can search for Germany I can go to Germany 
actually what he is. If we wait a second, you'll see he'll get nice flags oh, of the well, countries. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, I can search by city, or I could just do a keyword search at the beginning, if you knew the name of your station. But for instance, I can, okay? It's called Radio Hamburg, yeah. All right. Here we go. Is. What we're doing now is we're streaming live radio kilobits. from Radio Hamburg. Uh, you can see at 32 kilobits, and we're in Las Vegas, so mm -hmm. it's really cool. We're actually that is very that. new. No, it's it's a true stream. Um, certain stations offer different audio quality. If they do, yep. we can change it here, so we could decrease the quality uh, to get um, you know better connection or increase the quality. But we it has the RDS information. You got mm -hmm. station details now. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Similar stations. I can add this to my favorite, and now you know this is all going on the phone. So so when I connect this phone again, or if I connect it into a different mini, you know, I'd have this information.